there in the polling world. Now let's take a look at a sample of the debate so we can judge for ourselves before I reveal to you the results of the rigged O'Reilly poll. Common traveled to Cuba, mm -hmm. all right, to meet with Joanne Chesimard, mm -hmm. who was convicted mm -hmm. of killing a New Jersey state trooper. Common said, quote, damn, this was somebody who fought for my freedom. Mm -hmm. This is a cop killer. This right. is a woman who gunned down, along with two other accomplices, a woman mm -hmm. who is a member of the Black Liberation Army, right. who they found 16 live rounds in her purse. Mm -hmm. And this guy mm -hmm. thinks she's great. You are saying that he is celebrating a cop killer or promoting cop killing. No, I'm not saying he's saying? promoting cop killing. Well, people on your network are. Let's just speak to me. All right, all right. I'm talking to you. Celebrating, celebrating okay. a cop killer, yes. Okay. Here's the only distinction I would make there, and I can't speak for him. What I think he's doing is not celebrating, but honoring someone he thinks was wrongly convicted of cop killing. I think he believes she was convicted unjustly. The President of the United States, though, mm -hmm. takes him into all the right. House, all right. all right, thereby thereby validating him. Come on, that was a bad decision. You're, you you're know saying, it was a bad decision. You're saying that by having him at the White House, that in essence was tacit approval of everything he's ever done. No. To some extent. It validates him, all right? It as an elevate, It elevates him as, an as, a, as a poet or whatever. Are you familiar with, with Leonard Peltier? Yes. Okay. Leonard Peltier was convicted of killing two All right, FBI now we're agents. going on to Wounded Knee. It's okay. similar. Uh-huh. All right. No, it's not. You're, well, you're, why you're is petty, it not? Because you're petty-fogging the issue. It's the exact same thing. It's a guy convicted of killing a law enforcement official. No? Guess who wrote a song about Leonard Peltier? Yeah. Bono. Okay. Guess where he was? The White House. Boom! Yeah. All right. That's a rap word. Did Bono, Yes. did he actually come out and say that he was innocent? Well, I think that's the, the crux of the song. No, I think he was raising no. questions about it. And, and, and the basic now, thing. Now who's pettifogging? Now okay. I can't even Look, see you. I can't. You're pettifog. No, that is exactly the same. Okay. Bob Dylan wrote a song yeah. about a convicted killer named Hurricane Carter. He's been to the White House. Why are you drawing the line at common? There is a selective outrage machine here at Fox that petty fogs only when it suits the narrative that suits them. This guy is in the crosshairs in a way that he shouldn't be. Whether you agree with him or not, over you may think he's ignorant in believing that Asada Shakur is innocent. You may think he's ignorant in believing that Mummy is. But then guess what? Bono can't go to the White House. Springsteen can't go to the White House. Bob Dylan can't go to the White House. You got a lot of people that aren't allowed to sit in the White House because they've written songs about people convicted of murder. I'm making you president of the United <laughs> States, which is just Every insane. time I come here, you make me president of the United it's States. It's insane, I know, but all right. all right. So you're sitting there, and you know on your resume, okay, mm -hmm. you already have Reverend Wright. You got Bill Ayers, mm -hmm. okay? And then a guy named Common comes in, and you know... You mean that Fox you know, News has all already of these, things. these people as they basically connected the dots as though these are the most influential people no, in my You life. have a history of associating with dubious people. You know that, I know it, everybody knows it. Can I be honest with you? Yeah, please. If I'm the president yeah. and I'm booking my own poetry slams, <laughs> throw me out of office. Okay. And by the way, songs are not literal. You know that, right? Oh, stop. Like when, when, the cube. when the stop weather girls it. sing it. It's Raining Men, it's not really <laughs> precipitation I got of that. males. All right. And the result of the rigged O'Reilly Fox News poll, a poll of Fox News viewers, devoted O'Reilly fans. They actually voted, as expected, in a landslide, 79 to 21. But in the biggest shock in the history of Fox News, the landslide was for the wrong guy. 79% of Bill O'Reilly's audience said that Jon Stewart won the debate. 79%. And so I am forced to rewrite my description of this particular Fox News viewer poll, and only this Fox News viewer poll, I will now remove the word rigged from my description of the O'Reilly Fox News poll of the great 
O'Reilly Stewart debate.